This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. First sponsorship. What's going on? My name is Ethan Jay, and welcome back to a spooky season version of the channel. Today's video is a design breakdown, but it's also an open collab invitation. A PSD with a bunch of the assets I use in this graphic will be available to download from a link in the description for you to make your own version. You don't have to use all the assets and you can add in your own photos if you want to, but if you want me to possibly feature your design in a future video, there's just two rules. One, make sure you follow me at Ethan J Design on Instagram and share this design on your story. And two, upload your design using hashtag EthanJSMSpooks. You know, like there's a hashtag SM Sports, but this is Spooks. It's Halloween. What am I doing? Anyway, make sure you use that hashtag so I can see your design when you upload. I'm going to be reviewing my favorites on the channel on Halloween. So you have until midnight, October 29th to upload your design. Now, with all that said, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. Okay, so we have our blank comp. I also have a file open with all the assets I want to use. So let's go ahead and drag in a sky photo and scale it up like this. Go. Then we have another sky photo with some clouds that can go down here at the bottom. I want to warp this as well so it has curves around the corners. So let's go ahead, select the warp tool and start shaping the photo. We just pull these corners up like this. And we do the same on the other side like that. There you go. Looking good. Now I just need to mask out the top of this photo so that it blends in. Cool. Now we can change the background color a little bit like this. Let's duplicate it, make it darker, and we can use this as our vignette at the top like that. Perfect. So I got this neighborhood street photo that I want to use as our main scene. Just got to scale that up like that. So then let's mask out the bottom so that it fades to a nice solid color. Now I just need to make it look like it's nighttime. So using levels, I'm just going to move this slider down like that. And I'm also going to clip it to our street photo. Also added in a dark blue solid to finish off the look. But now I have this hill I want to use in the background. So let's position this a little nicer. Something like this will do. Then I'm just going to duplicate it, flip it and move it over so the hill doesn't just cut off randomly. I'm going to blend the two together with a mask. Doesn't really need to be super accurate because it's going to all be dark anyway dropped in our nighttime adjustments from the other layer and now i'm just adding a darker shadow down here at the bottom like that just to hide some of this detail down here then i've got some trees that i've cut out and i'll put them behind the houses scale them down like this a little bit then i dropped in our same nighttime coloring and i'm just gonna make it slightly darker then i'm gonna duplicate our tree line make it a bit smaller and make the color a bit lighter so it looks like it's more in the background like that Using the same trees, I'm going to populate the bottom area of this hill so it doesn't look so bare and empty. I've also got these PNG trees that I'm going to dot around at the top of the hill. This is probably going to take a sec, so I'm going to jump back in after we're done. That took way longer than I expected, but we're here now and I'm just adding in some smoky haze behind the houses. And what kind of Halloween graphic would this be without a haunted house on a hill? So we're going to drop this guy in up here looking all ominous and stuff. I really want to separate these trees from the background, so I'm going to add in more smoke, but really bright smoke like this. I think this frames everything up really nice. OK, so I got this 3D text that I made in pretty much the exact same way from last week's 3D text tutorial. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and watch it after you're done watching this video, obviously. But I'm just adding in some extra glow here to really make this stand out. Then we have this cool hooded skull woman thing that we want to use in the background, overlooking everything. But I need to block out her face because we've got to replace it. So I'm just going to use the pen tool like that. And there you go. But wait, where did I get all these amazing stock photos to use? Well, now you mention it, all the assets in this video, unless I mention otherwise, were all from today's video sponsor, Invato Elements, a place where you can get access to over 55 million assets from stock photos to graphic templates, even custom 3D models, which I think are dope, by the way. You can get a custom object, position it perfectly to fit your composition and download a pre cut out PNG. It's a really unique feature and perfect for designers. I've used pretty much every paid stock asset site out there during my six year career as a professional designer and Invato Elements provides the best value for your money by miles. And if you want to sign up, use my link in the description to get 50% off an annual subscription. That's access to millions of assets 
with unlimited downloads for less than $20 a month. I love their assets, I know you will as well. Click my link in the description to learn more, I really appreciate it. And thank you Invato Elements for sponsoring the video. Now I just need to drop in this photo of Mr. Slim Reaper himself, KD. He'll be the main guy in the background, I just need to warp this hood so it actually looks like it's on him and not just floating around somewhere behind his head. Okay, this is looking better than I thought, but we need to add in some shadows like this to really finish it off. I got this skull that I want to use for half of KD's face, so I'll set the transparency to 50, scale it up to the right size, something like this works. Then I need to mask out the side I want to get rid of, sort of like that. Perfect. I added in a white eye with the pen tool, now I just got to make it glow and look fiery. Gonna do the same thing to this nose hole. That's a weird sentence I didn't think I'd have to say. All right, now I'm just adding in some highlights with an exposure adjustment to really sell everything. Also, I need to add in some light reflections with a hue and saturation layer. Just gonna put that in like that, where all the highlights are. I gotta add the same effect to the underside of the hood too, so I'm gonna do that and jump ahead. There you go, it's starting to come together. I added some blue to the top of the hood as well, which just looks Perfect. Now this whole theme was inspired by the NBA 75 advert, if you haven't seen it. So I made this hoop bust that I wanted to include as well. So I'm gonna add that in and make it look like it's actually on the road. Just need to drop in our nighttime coloring like that. Cool. All right, I need to turn all the lights on for the buildings on the street with an exposure adjustment. This is gonna take a minute, so I ain't gonna make you watch all of it. Okay, that's done. But now I need to make them green with a color fill. Wait, why don't I just copy the friggin' mask? Okay, it was a lot easier doing it that way. But now I just need to add in green reflections to everywhere this light would hit. So I'm just gonna paint that in there like that. Now to finish this off, I just need to add some light rays coming out of the windows. So I used a pen tool to create some light ray looking shapes like this, turn up the feather, then just fade out the edge. Easy. Then I'm gonna copy these onto all the windows, done. And this is actually really starting to come together. What the heck? So we got this photo of Zion that I wanna zombify. So I'll scale this down, put it somewhere in the middle, like that. Thought it would be cool to swap the basketball with a pumpkin. So I got this image that I'm gonna scale down and try to make it look like Zion's actually holding it. Just gotta mask out the hands. Would the pen tool be quicker in this situation? Eh. Also, need to add some light reflections to this side so he actually looks like he's in the scene. I'm gonna block out his eyes with a pen tool because I wanna make him look kinda like a zombie. Something like this will do. And I found these fake wound looking things that I need to blend in and make it look like Zion is having a rough day. Okay, so this is looking good. I just need to add some veins around his eyes like this. All zombies have dark visible veins around the eyes. Everyone knows this. Right, let's add in the final player, Steph Curry. I had a cool idea for him, but first just gotta blend him into the background. Add some highlights like this. I'm probably gonna do a jersey swap on him as well. That yellow is a bit distracting. I got this cool photo and I wanted to see if I could select this part of the face and make it match up with Steph. So let's drop that in. Just using the warp tool to line this up and it's kind of working. Now I just gotta add in some glows to make everything look better. I wanna try and use this selection of the arm, drop that in, kind of do the same thing as I did with his face and just blend it in and make it look part of his arm. Again, adding in some soft glows like that and some additional detailed line just to finish it all off. Okay, so with this haunted house on the hill, I wanna add some of that green window glow as I did in the houses on the streets. So I'm gonna apply those same effects over here. There you go, this is how we need it to look. Now I need to finish up the text on the bottom. I added in the on NBA lane text and need to make it green and glowy like the windows. This is looking good. Another thing I wanted to add on this bottom part was a mailbox. I made it dark to fit the scene. Now I'm just adding in some highlights as well to make it look like the text is lighting it up from underneath. I'm gonna add in some green light to the top as well from the windows. Then I just wanna add in an NBA 75 sticker here. Gotta make it look all weathered though, using some stock images from one of my packs actually. 
that's it that's looking perfect there's one final thing to add and that's a pumpkin down at the bottom but it needs to be more glowy so i'm going to create shapes for the mouth and eyes with the pen tool mask them out make everything look brighter and now we just got adding some glows to finish it off i've done that jersey swap on steph which suits the comp much nicer and look you know the design has gone well when it's looking good even before you add camera raw but i'm just gonna add that in and i think that might be it and there we go I think this ended up looking really good, mixing the NBA advert with some Nightmare on Elm Street style vibes. Remember, if you want to do your own version using some of these assets, the PSD is linked below, along with details to possibly have it reviewed on the channel. But that's it. I really hope you liked the video. Please drop a like and subscribe if you did, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.